What we have is a main sling and then we have two handles and every trapeze comes with the exact same setup. So these are my two handles and they go on either side. There's a carabiner on the top like a rock climbing carabiner and same thing on this one. We have a rock climbing carabiner and there's handles. These go on either side of my trapeze when it's hanging and in the middle is what we call the main sling and the main sling is a hammock shaped swing that sits in the middle. It's smaller than a hammock but again has the black carabiners on top and this is how it hooks in. So main parts of your trapeze before we move on to setup, we have the main sling, we have two sets of handles, three handles on either side. So here we are getting ready to hang the trapeze itself. As you can see here, I have a ceiling bar. At your home, this might be our door mount bar. You might also have our ceiling mount hooks. This might also just be a tree branch or an exposed beam. Maybe it's a patio, maybe it's a, a railing and a patio. There's all kinds of different things, but essentially you need something to hang your ropes over or through. We have a whole bunch of different setup options. You can check our site, but this is the most common option over some kind of pole or bar or tree branch or exposed beam. So I'm going to show you this setup now. I have taken my black ropes, which we prepared before, and I have drapes them over the bar here. Now we have two different options. We can do the double rope, which is where I click in here and I'm clicking through both the rope thimble, that metal part on the bottom, and then the last knot and I could hang this way. But I'm really, really high here because these ceiling mounts are very high off the ground. So what I'm going to do is option number two, which is very common and it's important for you to see, is I'm going to take that rope thimble and I'm going to feed it through the last knot and I'm going to slide it down so the rope hugs the bar on the top. What that does is it gives me quite a bit more height. Now so the rope thimble here, I'm going to take the carabiner on the main sling and I'm going to click into that rope thimble. I'm going to open up my trapeze like a hammock to make sure it's not twisted or bunched up. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to feed that rope thimble through the last knot, slide it down and I'm going to click in. And now what I have is a nice hammock shape here. In terms of the distance between the top two ropes, the easiest way to do it is when you're standing on the ground, if you bring your arms out at your side and bend your arms right where they point up, that's about as wide as you want it. It's roughly 80 to 90 centimeters depending on the person. Usually a little bit less is where people feel comfortable, but you can figure out what works for you. It's not a big deal to adjust afterwards. Next, I'm going to add in the handles. There's one set that goes on either side. Let me grab the handles and I'll show you how that works. So here I have each of the handle sets. Now there's three handles on either side. And the only thing you want to do before you hook them on is to organize them. And what I mean by organize them is you should have the small handle, the longest handle, and then the medium handle in the same on both sides. It doesn't really matter what order they are, but it does matter that they're both the same on both sides. What I mean by that is the way these are organized right now, we go shortest handle, longest handle, medium handle. Same thing on this one, shortest, longest, medium. And in that way, we just know we'll be symmetrical. There's no right or wrong way. You can do it either way. But if they're both the same, it'll just be a little bit easier for practice. Now I go on the side, the outside of the main sling, and I hook in my handles. I just click into that rope thimble again. And then I'm on the other side and I click through the rope thimble again. One thing to keep in mind is when you put your hands in, you want to be able to open the trapeze out to the side and you want your handles your carabiner for the handles to be outside the carabiner for the main sling. And again, the simplest way to check it is you open up the trapeze like this. You can open up your entire rig. From here, we're all set to go. One thing that I will point out is there's black clips on the main sling and also on the handles. What the black clips are designed to do is to help you adjust the fabric. There's quite a bit of fabric and it can get in the way. So when we go and we sit down in the trapeze, a lot of times we'll use the black clip to actually make the seat smaller and to hug just our bum. In other poses, we'll make the seat very large and we'll use the, po we'll use the trapeze more like a cocoon or a hammock. The black clips you find on the handles, you want to slide down until they create a nice triangle shape for the handle itself. Now the reason we don't have these fixed is because there are poses where we're going to slide the handle up 
we're gonna move the rubber handle to the side and use the fabric, not the hard rubber. So it does have a purpose. It's not just there to irritate you. But when you're first getting started, the good default position is to create a nice small triangle for your handles. And you'll find a clip on each of the handles. So this is the classic yoga trapeze setup. Now there are different ways to rig. Maybe you have an exposed beam. Maybe you have a tree branch. Maybe you're hanging from our doormount bar or our ceiling hooks. 